In the latest bombshell revelations rocking the boxing world, Davis and Floyd Mayweather have pulled back the curtain on what they allege to be corruption and cheating tactics employed by Devin Haney in his fights, particularly his bout against Ryan Garcia. Perhaps the most shocking moment, Davis reacted to the news of a potential showdown between Bill Haney and Mayweather himself, but Davis made it clear that he was going to fight Haney and end his career forever. One thing is clear. The feud between Davis Mayweather and the Haney camp is far from over. If Davis is fighting Haney, then what about the fight that Ryan Garcia announced against Davis? That was crazy. I never seen some shit like that. He was holding me and I just what? I whacked him and then he was hurt and I was like, yes, done. And then, oh, point taken out. Let's dive deeper into this boxing drama. Floyd Mayweather and Davis are buzzing all over social media claiming they've got some serious evidence suggesting that the Ryan Garcia vs. Devin Haney fight was rigged. Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney stepped into the ring for what's supposed to be a legendary showdown, but instead of the fight making headlines for its epic punches and knockout blows it's the ref who's stealing the spotlight things got heated in the seventh round when Haney took a tumble, but before anyone could blink the ref stepped in with a controversial move instead of just counting Haney out the ref decided to penalize Garcia for landing a punch on Haney, as as he was hitting the canvas talk about a game chair people are calling the ref out for playing favorites and giving Haney an extra brother, now let's break down what went down according to Garcia, he was fuming after the fight, and he was not afraid to let the world know it in his own words, that ref was trash straight up Haney, was holding on to me like his life depended on it, and I saw my chance to go for it. But then the ref comes in and messes everything up by taking away a point. I could have ended it right there in the seventh round, but they stole that moment from me. Haney kept holding and holding, and the ref didn't do a squat about it. It was ridiculous, man. I've never seen anything like it. Now let's switch gears and see what Mayweather and Davis have to say about all this. Floyd Mayweather and Gervonta Davis pulled no punches as they declared that the fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia was the most corrupt and rigged one in the history of boxing. On an Instagram live session, Davis began, that was straight up corruption, man. Haney didn't earn that win, he bought it. Mayweather nodded in agreement, you're Dan right tank. Haney's entire career reeks of corruption. It's all smoke and mirrors designed to make him look like something he's not. Mayweather and Davis left no stone unturned, from questionable scoring to dubious tactics. It's all about money and the power tank. Mayweather declared they'd do anything to protect their golden boy, even if it meant sacrificing the integrity of the sport. The reality is that Depenha has never quite lived up to the lofty expectations that some have placed on him, often hailing him as the next Floyd Mayweather. However, for those with a more discerning eye, it's evident that much of his career has been shrouded in carefully orchestrated manipulation and micromanagement. Haney and his team seem to have mastered the art of gaming the system, pulling strings behind the scenes to ensure that every advantage tilts in his favor long before he ever sets foot in the ring, from carefully selected opponents to strategic maneuvering in negotiation. Haney's path to success has been meticulously plotted and executed. Many of his victories, if not marred by controversy, are overshadowed by the selective amnesia of his fan base. Rather than critically analyzing his performances, they choose instead to paint each win as a flawless display of dominance in the aftermath of a Haney victory. It's not uncommon to witness a chorus of celebratory, che and declarations of supremacy, but upon closer inspection, it becomes clear that these victories are often far from perfect with rounds lost and hiccups encountered along the way. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he come from money. Like his daddy had money. His brothers and stuff, they had money and stuff. I don't, I didn't have that. You know what I'm saying? It was illegal. In my contract, you weren't supposed to be that big. He wasn't supposed to be, it was literally illegal, but I let it go. It's like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna cry over spilled milk. I'm a man, it's called accountability, whatever. I'm not gonna do it, but now, since it's like he's crying about the weight issue, what you did to me, you know, I didn't say nothing. Gervonta and Floyd roasted Devin Haney is saying that his entire career is corrupt and really fake based on buying judges and cheating on weight, like against Reg's progress. Devin Haney's move up to face Reg's progress drew some major heat, especially from Gavin Davis. The dream jumped into the junior welterweight scene, taking on one of the division's fiercest fighters. Grace wasn't someone to mess with, he had a knockout record that spoke volumes, with 24 costs out of 29 wins, including 5 straight stoppages. 
That's no joke. Now here's where it gets juicy on fight night. Haney tipped the scales at a hopping 165 bits, according to the California Commission. Let that sink in for a moment. That's super, middleweight territory, but hold up. Rewind to the way in the day before, and he's hitting the 140 limit like it's no big deal. PR Gray, on the other hand, came in at 156. 000 fights last night, so what's the deal with Haney packing on all that weight? Well, it turns out it might have played a huge role in the fight. Haney was dishing out punishment left and right, even dropping PROGR in the third round, and a big part of that was you. Han sees the advantage. While some might see it as a strategy, others are crying for Davis. For one, wasn't she about to voice his criticism? He's pointing fingers at Han's weight gain, calling it into question, and with Haney pulling off such a significant jump in weight, it's no wonder people were raising eyebrows. Javin Davis didn't hold back when he launched some serious accusations at Devin Haney, hinting that Haney might have been juicing during his bout with Regis Progress. Davis didn't beat around the bush, he straight up called out Haney's association with Snack, a nutrition program run by Victor Khan, a guy who got busted back in 2005 for hooking athletes up with a stereoscope Davis took to Twitter to fire shots at the Snack program, saying get that Snack sassed is out of boxing. He didn't stop there either, he went on to question whether Han was playing dirty, bringing up Khan's sketchy past with steroids. Davis was basically saying, hey, remember when Khan got busted? Han's messing with those snack people, what's up with that? But here's the twist, nobody on the snack program has ever tested positive for steroids. Yep, you heard that right. Despite Khan's shady history, there's been no evidence linking his program to PUs. The snack program is all about using legit supplements that have been tested and approved to boost athlete performance. Big names like Mikey Garcia and Taryn Crawford have been down with snacks, and they've come out clean. So why all the drama? Well, Davis seems to be pointing fingers. Solly because of Khan's past, he's basically saying once a cheater is always a cheater, but Khan ain't having it. He's hitting back, setting the record straight on Twitter. According to him, Haney's been under strict Vader testing for all his fights, and he's clean as a whistle. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. The Balco case Khan's old company got busted for cooking up some serious performance-enhancing stuff, including a steroid called Coney. He ended up doing time for his involvement, spending four months behind bars. Even if Devin was taking peas, the person handling his blood samples could manipulate the results. Davis mentioned Devin Haney's win against Regis Prager might have looked like total domination, but let's take a closer look at the state of Prague leading up to that fight. PR was coming off a rough patch, including a tough outing against Danielito Zarilla, where he suffered an uncalled knockdown. Zarilla, in turn, got handled pretty easily by Arnold Barbosa, who struggled against Sean McComb. So you see where I'm going with this. The competition wasn't exactly top tier. Sure, Haney's move up in weight might have given him some extra strength, but did we really see him capitalize on it? Not really, despite dropping the product multiple times. Haney didn't exactly go in for the kill, he seemed hesitant to himself, and definitely not the powerhouses some are making him out to be. Let's ruin Edge's previous fights, where he faced off against some halfway decent opponents. Some argue the win against Lomachenko was a gift from H's previous fights, where he faced off against some halfway decent opponents. Some argue that the win against Lomachenko was gifted to him, and even with the weight advantage, Haney struggled against Lomachenko's speed and footwork. Don't even get me started on the two wins against Cambosos, they're barely worth mentioning. Cambosos got lucky against Teofimo, who struggles against counterpunches, and against Haney, he was outclassed. Then there's the Jojo Diaz fight, where Haney was pushed to the limit by a fighter who's not exactly known for his power. Jojo managed to rock Haney multiple times and arguably won several rounds, and let's not forget Haney's bout with George Layers, who was practically a shell of his former self. I is, I know you can't give man, get off of Twitter, man, and knock it off, man. If you're the face of boxing, then send over something, man. You know what I'm saying? Something respectful, like you're really trying to do this shit. Because every fighter the Devin fuck with gets paid, man, the most money, man. Knock it off, man, that's bunk. Davis was quick to take notice of the Instagram live word sparring session between Bill Haney and Floyd Mayweather. Davis was left wide-eyed when he stumbled upon the unexpected word sparring match between Bill Haney and Floyd Mayweather on Instagram Live. 
Bill, who's Devin Haney's dad, wasn't holding back. He straight up threw down the gauntlet, challenging Floyd to a fight. On the one hand, he's probably thinking, dang, this just got real. But on the other hand, he's likely scratching his head, wondering what brought this on. Davis isn't one to shy away from drama, but even he must have been caught off guard by this unexpected showdown. And knowing Davis, he's got plenty of thoughts on the whole spectacle. I wouldn't be surprised if he's itching to jump into the fray and add his two cents. Man, you know Floyd's a different breed. Davis remarked with a grin. Bill Haney might think he's got what it takes, but let's be real here. Floyd's on a whole other level. Let's not kid ourselves. Floyd's going to make Bill regret ever challenging him. It's going to be a one-sided beatdown. Davis remained confident in Mayweather's abilities. Bill Haney might think he's tough, but he's no match for Floyd. Davis declared Floyd's going to eat 100 Bill Haney for breakfast. Davis quipped, I mean, come on, we're talking about Floyd Mayweather here. Bill's got heart, but Floyd's got skill, experience, and a hunger for victory that's unmatched. It's going to be a massacre in that ring, mark my words. Davis knew that he couldn't let the moment pass without making his own feelings known enough with the drama he declared. If there's one thing I know for sure, it's that actions speak louder than words. Davis didn't use words. I want to fight Devin Haney, he said, not just to beat him but to end his career forever. Bill Haney accused Davis of trying to avoid a fight with Devin. The final straw for Haney came in the form of a tweet from Davis accusing Devin of cheating, a claim that Haney vehemently denied in a swift and decisive response. Devin Haney himself entered the fray, firing back at Davis with a barrage of tweets that left no room for interpretation, accusing Davis of being scared to face him in the ring. Haney issued a direct challenge, daring Davis to step up and make the fight happen. Tank is puggy. He is scared to death of me. He always says he wants to fight when I have a fight lined up already. Well, now that I'm free, let's make it happen. As the social media storm raged on, Haney didn't mince words, making it clear that he was ready and willing to face Davis in the ring, refuting accusations of cheating and addressing criticism of his past weight. Cuts Haney remained defiant, insisting that he had nothing to hide. I've been doing the same thing for years, just killing myself to make weight. The world said I was pillow-fisted and I was this, and now that I'm actually healthy, you all got every excuse in the book. This saga is far from over, that is for sure. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Ring the notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest in the world of boxing. Your support means the world to us, and we appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching.